right, good afternoon, Texas. We are here at day three of the major. It's another elimination game, and it is going to be a battle of the green and teal. And I know we've kept you waiting, so I'm just going to dispense with everything else and get the first team out here. Please give a warm welcome to the Florida Mutineers. Capital, Havoc, Brack, and Fellow, your Florida Mutineers. Man, they just look happy to be here. It's been so many battles this organization has had against Optic on land. They've gotten the better of them four out of those five times, and these guys took down the major one champions yesterday in a dominant fashion. We'll see if they can go through the green wall. Let's bring them out. Texas, how we feeling? <laughs> Let them hear you. Introducing your home team, Optic Texas! <laughs> Ghosty, Dashi McCrucy, Shotzi, and Kyler. Ooh. I mean, the vibes could literally not be higher in this stadium right now. They got the king on the drums and to walk them out the pressure relieved off the shoulders of Texas, knowing they have the green wall behind them. They gotta get through somebody that has tested them time and time again. It is Optic Texas. It's time to get this cast started to Merkin Maven. Oh my, we're having fun. I'm still listen, Seth kills me. And you know him well, he is a child at heart and he was having an absolute blast up there, getting everybody fired up, but here we go. It is a packed crowd. If you were outside at all, you saw the line was wrapping from here to the next state line. Like, it was <laughs> unbelievable. That's pretty big. Yes, Texas is, is massive. Yeah, That's I your mean, point, John. That's your point. That is a heck of a distance, but you are not wrong. And, I mean, they're going all out, right? Bringing out all of the stops they can, trying to get the, the energy, you know, all, all to the team in the crowd, just trying to get this going because we watched yesterday. It, it took a lot. It took a lot for them to win in that game five versus London. We know in this matchup, it has not been a good one for this Optic team. What I think it's four and one for Florida since Vanguard. They have really controlled the search and destroys and that game number three. So this is a Florida team that they're confident. They know what they need to do to win, but Optic was it what they needed yesterday. Now are they playing with some confidence? Is that swagger back? Yeah, you gotta think like the big play from Ghosty. Just some moments where you really turned up with the crowd behind you. It just felt, you felt like that switch flip where the mistake prone optics suddenly were making the plays. They're putting London on their back heels. Are they able to do that here? And, you know, I kind of love the relationship and dynamic between Fellow and Ghosty. You heard him on the main stage, and we kind of heard the details of the message going back and forth between these two. Father to his son, you knew it was coming. You know Fellow's gonna bring it. And he's got these boys playing some good Call of Duty. No, he does, right? He said that in the interview. Like, these guys, they, they trust me. What I say goes. And, yeah, they play very disciplined in Call of Duty. Uh, and we have some hard points here. We have some hard points here that require that discipline. And I know before we get into it, I, I got to be very bad news. We did have a PC crash, so you need to hang out with us two idiots. For a yeah, that's all right. The, the crowd is still ramping up. I think, honestly, I figured we were starting maybe a little bit late because people were still, like, filtering in. And you can see it is just packed. A sold-out venue. Thank you, everybody that is here in attendance. It has been brilliant. Uh, so, so much fun so far. And 
we still have so much time to go. A lot. I mean, today is a very big day for these teams. You know, either one of these teams is going to run, potentially be top four, but they're going to have a couple of matches. And you know, I mean, you have the winner side as well. Who's going to get that winner final tomorrow? Yeah, just still a lot of call duty plays. Well, if Optic are going to make the run, if they're going to make this venue lose their minds, if they're going to get to a championship Sunday, yeah. how's it happen? I, I think you have to look at the sub duo. Shotzi, he played fantastic to me. It's the other half of that. I think it's got to be Hook. I, I, you know, his respawns were struggling yesterday. Even in that game number four, Mercado, he started off like 1 in 12, 1 in 13. You cannot do that later in the tournament. So. I'm really looking at those two, but Havoc is a guy for Florida. He has been so good. You have Shotzi as well. When you talk about Hydro, both of these two are going to be hitting those water routes. Yeah, I mean, I think when Havoc came back to the league, he's obviously been a guy that's been kind of up and down, like just in the league, not in the league, trying to find that spot. And you saw his impact was immediate. He was frying in challengers, and now he's got in the league. He's another place he can make it search and destroy. He's been more consistent than I think many would have expected him to be in the respawns. And now a fellow on this team, he said it yesterday, like, I could jump, if I told them to jump into a bowl of fire or whatever he said, like, they would do it. Like, there's some trust there, and I think that is going to be the thing that if you're going to beat Optic, that's what it's going to be. Trust yeah. and make it the plays you don't make. 100%. I, I, you know, I mean, the last couple of months for Havoc might be some of the best COD we've, we've seen him play, yeah. honestly, in the league. He's had his ups and downs, but he's playing consistent. He's playing confident. And yeah, Shotzi, I mean, he's the playmaker for this Optic team, right? When he gets going, he's going to make it look good. And he does it, uh, yeah, the best way possible. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like sometimes he's trying to make it look oh, too good. I'm no like, oh my God, you just would have won that if you didn't have to be so flashy. But that's just part of part of the uh, the mystery and the, the beauty. That is his gameplay. It is certainly something you have to witness. If it's your first time watching, you've never seen Shotzi's POV, it is something incredible. But thank you for your patience. We're just waiting to get restarted. I think we should be good to go now. Uh, ah. And I was just told we may have another restart. I'm so sorry. We do. I'm so sorry. And it looks to be the same player. So hopefully, uh, you know, the comp off team could on, get on that quickly. Because we want to get wet on Hydro, that is for sure. I'm trying to get moist. On the map, dude. Joe, yes, Joe, man. Joe's a naughty girl. You got to watch out for this guy. Unbelievable. Oh. But now, um, as we wait to get starting, it's, hopefully it's not something we have to swap out of PC, and it's just a, another restart, and we're good to go. If it's going to be a longer issue, we'll try to keep you filled in as quickly as we can. Um, hopefully everyone's been able to get into the venue at this point. Shotzi's face is a let me play, bro. Like, I'm ready to get twisted on the map. We're going to talk a bit about this matchup from Challengers. You heard fellow kind of talking father to son. Kind of He's been like looking it. forward to this matchup. It's like big brother, little brother. It really is, right? It feels like fellow has had the script. He thought this matchup was going to happen. He's looking forward to it. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, for Gosi, you know, for Opti fans, maybe it's not what you want to see. That's probably pretty similar to, uh, you know, around what Illy had, but to search and destroy, you want to see a little bit more for him. But I feel like the end of yesterday, you know, in those maps they were clutching up, he was playing a lot better. And again, maybe that's what he needed. I know this is his first land on this team. Optics is always expected to do well, but to do it in front of this crowd as well, I'm sure the nerves were there. Yeah, I'm sure it's just one of those things where you learn over time as a player, it becomes less nerve, and nerves are more like you're harnessing the power of the crowd, right? Like you look to just encapsulate everything that is going on, use that to your benefit, but I'm sure it takes time. You know, when you're first up there, I don't care if they're the ones rooting for you. It's got to get you a little bit jumpy. It's just got to. Yeah, and now on the other side for Fellow, this is kind of a guy who's sort of transformed himself, right? He was in the league, then you knows this sort of cracked submachine gun player, then out of the league, had to transform into this slower AR where the challenge, you know, in challengers, he was being very, very successful. And now he's back to a spot, but a lot different. He has transformed himself. I'm being told, uh, it looks like the lobby is getting going, and we hopefully, on our third attempt, we're good to go. Third time's the charm, Joe. We're getting into this one. I got a feeling. I hope so. I, I see the match loading up. All right, there's the music. There's the flyover. I'm looking at the names. I see all eight names, baby. All Let's right. get freaky. Woo! Get our Michael Phelps on. Get swimming. But you see right here, it's just sort of a tale of two different stories. For Optic, great rotation team, not great at holding. On the other side for Florida, they are very strong at holding down these hard points, but they did not win the rotation very often. We'll see if that's how it's going to play out. I think that map yesterday with Optic and London, it was just so back and forth. But map number one, here we go. Time to battle. 
is Shotzi from the depths looking to take the fights up mid-map. We hop out to the sky cam to give you eyes to the sky and it's kills from Optic early on. Shotzi and Ghosty that are able to line them up. Dashi just staying up. Ghosty is peace and early. That's going to be three for him. And time into the hard point. Still controlling that right side of the map. Things looking good so far for Optic Texas. I mean, they flipped right away, actually, behind those four kills. They're able to get the spawns that they want for P2. Now you have who blocking down the spawns. He's able to find a kill on rotation. Shotzi's got another one. Really, the last player alive is Havoc, and they're hunting him, right? This is the comms that we're sort of talking about. Havoc, the last player alive, we have to find him. Check the water routes. Havoc is spotted. Now he's just waiting for the rest of his team to get there. But a nice 20 point lead here for Optic. Yeah, these water routes, like they've just been looking for him. He's just swimming. Just poking out of time, holes, got finding one. kills. Continue to find peaks, but there, he's going to get dropped. They're able to take him out. Now start to get into positions. It's going to be big capital. That's able to win one gunfight from up top. Now we'll take a look at the minimap. The collapse is going to start to come in. You've got everybody here from Texas. Looking to lock this down. Only one point on the board so far for Mutineers. And we just talked about the rotation. Just not a great rotation team is this Florida squad. But can they get in the hill? Get a break. Fellows able to find two. Now can they lock it down? And well, Dashi, he was pushed out. So the final 30 seconds, the spawn's going to go the way of Florida. It looks like Optic might take one more shot at this. Just get them off the hill time, focus on the rotation. That's what Ghosty's doing over at P3. Yeah, and a pretty, pretty solid break. The sense like 30 seconds left. You know, it's not like a super late in the hard point where you're punishing yourself on rotation. You get a nice chunk of time. It'll lead to about 30 seconds. Now it's going to be Deddy out and straight into the waters below. His shots, he got one pistol out, not quite able to connect. He'll look for another route. Yeah, he's able to spot Havoc, but at least you spot him, right? He's going to have to switch it up. And now Shotzi, he's going to jump on through, just try to spot anything through the front. But so far, so good here at P3. The fact that you have them spawning so far front side is going to buy your team so much time on the hill. Doesn't allow those spawns to get wonky near the back. But Fellow with that kill, a nice opener. That's going to start the, the first push here for Florida. Shotzi, though, able to win it up to nine and three. Fantastic start for him. Hunting for one more, looking for the angle. Finally able to find it as he gets into double digits. Where's the next battle? He wants to soar, but it's Havoc that's able to shut it down. Instant trade there from Hook and a lovely snap. On to the second player, third. Give me that, as Hook keeps on cruising. Okay, so, so far, so good, I think, here for Optic, right? You win both rotations at P2, P3. You get most of that early time. You've built yourself up a 40 to 50 point lead. Now it's for Florida, it's right at this P4. You have a nice setup here at Broken. Have Capsule pushed on up, trying to find Shotzi. That's going to be the first engagement. He's able to win it. Optic going to push through Dome side and try to get towards the back and really disrupt this team. They're waiting for their last player to spawn up and get back in the mix. That's going to be Shotzi. Now they start their real first effort at this. From Bellows POV, we'll watch the attempted hold. It's Havoc that's able to win one gunfight. Where are the trades going to go down? Brack trying to hit. His teammates falling around him. Brack still set up in the back. He's got one player to work with. It's going to be Capsule, I believe, inside with the spawn and the numbers here with 25 seconds left for Optic. Yeah, nice shots from Ghosty. He's able to find that. He's up to a three spree. So similar to kind of what Florida was doing, right? Where, you know, you, you get the final 20 seconds or so to keep that lead. Double positive is Shotzi on this P5 rotation. You go all the way in the back. It looks like Fellow's locking this down for now. Well, he's going to get taken down, but he has the help of his duo in Dashi. Inside of the hill will be Hook for now, but Florida, they're just focused on the spawns, trying to deal with him, but Hook, he's just going to get on the hill, win that gunfight, and try to disrupt this setup here from Florida. Well, they've just taken down three. Hook now able to get tucked into a corner. Well, his position now going to be given up. It's not the day comes, the stun comes, and not going to be a safe spot for him whatsoever. Now, what can Havoc find? Out to the top balcony he goes. He finds Shotzi with the gunning and the movement. He's able to put him to sleep. Still a 20-point advantage in Capsule. Still trying to lock it down inside. Yeah, nice break there for Optic. Now they have the spawns. 30 seconds left. They're still holding on to that pretty small lead. But, well, Florida, they haven't been able to break this setup. And it's really the sub players right now for Optic leading the way. And that's what you want to see. It just feels like if Ooh and Shotzi get going, they are just so much tougher to beat as a squad. They're going to find the rest of that time, build the lead up all the way to around 50 to 60 points, the largest so far throughout this map, number one. You take the first hard point out of it, right? Like the 38 to one start or whatever it was. Since then, it's been relatively even. 
you get this up to 50, but you start to play them tight if you are Mutineers. Now, how long can Capsule survive in this central point? The help is all around him. We go out to the Sky Cam, gonna get picked up as Shotzi. He was able to win one fight, but traded pretty much instantly. It's a need from Hook into the point that's going to lock it down. Flurry of kills for Optic. Nobody in the hard point for now, Joe. Yeah, and right now, I mean, Optic, again, just doing a good job, making sure they have P2 side of the map. Havoc is taking her out all the way through. It looks like Hook, though, is trying to find it. Hook, he's on top of it, not able to win the gunfight, but that allows his team to know, hey, we gotta get to the back while the rest of Florida are going after the scrap time. Hook, he's gonna spawn all the way out, so Shotzi, he's gotta deal with Havoc. It was like a one-on-one -on -one I thought you were gonna have, but now it's gonna be shot through the Legion of Players in front as they break down the comms and try to get in. Let's get right to a listen in now with Optic Texas. Castle Dio, one in border going castle or no? That guy's going castle. All right, I'll try to break the left here. We can break the left. Yeah, I need, I need a time. I need a time. Nothing stun castle. Here, I'm gonna Two checks on trophy. Nothing boulder, nothing boulder. We could be in before that. Yo, one guy's a push Do you Oh, okay. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, chill, chill, chill. Don't jump. Don't jump. Yeah, he don't jump. That guy's back in front of me. But I'm just gonna kill him. Low dome, low dome. I killed the guy before. And have his cast on mid. What guy's low dome? Low dome. Yeah, I hit the water. I hit the ocean. He's out. Oh. I don't see him. He could be in the corner. Oh, that nice, nice. Good one. I'm stunning. Guys, gonna be before. I need this at time. Yeah, very soft. There's a point. Wait, there you go. No more choke. No more choke. I think. Right now, back on. See him, bro. He's jumping on the top. P4, P4, P4. What's P4? P4, P4. He's one shot P4. One shot P4. That one. P4, 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 P4
And you know, Florida had some close hard points yesterday. These were the areas where they were very disciplined. Finally, you win a P1 rotation. You have the P2 spawns. Fellows all the way in right. the back. Two. Playing so far as like that old school anchor to make sure they have spawns for P2. This is the chance for them to get back into the game. If I'm Optic, I think I'm going all resources at P1. Just try to win it here. Put the pressure on Florida. But Havoc was doing a very good job around that hill. Shotzi can't find the opening through the water route. Hook is just playing right outside the point. He gets tagged up. I didn't even know how he takes down one. I thought he was dead to rights, but he's able to pick one. Shotzi now following it up. Can't hit the shots in the bracket. Right back into the water. He will go. Dashi will line up two. Neither team get a ton of time in this hard point, but every second so much value, more valuable to Optic. And they're getting a healthy chunk of time here up to 235. We go. Yeah, I mean, Florida, they just gotta have to give this up. Maybe Fellow can find the pick on the hill. He's gonna find two. But it's gonna have to be a full 60. And even a full 60 will not win you this game. So four more seconds. Shotzi, he does get caught, but you have a lot of in-map control with Fellow on that cross. So he's watching the spawns come in. He's winning some big gunfights, but now it's up to the submachine guns of Optic to push them forward. Here comes who? This could be the break for the game. If they can get it done, Capsule. Wants to see another hard point. So far, so good for Mutineers. Shotzi, stun out, not going to connect. Lovely shots, though, in the outskirts to take down Fellow with the two dead. This should be the collapse. Here comes the push inside. Another one gonna fall. One more player here. The trade is through with the final point. Optic takes the last one. Just a very well controlled game from Optic from start to finish, really locking down the spawns. You had a couple of big breaks, but it was a submachine gun duo. It was Shotzi and Hook. They put up 28 and 29. That's exactly what you wanted to see, especially from Hook. Again, really struggled in those hard points, but they step it up, they control those water routes, and really they shut down Havoc, who was the key for Florida so far. They put a lot better than yesterday. Yeah. Right? Like, and I, I kind of asked you, but then I got a little bit crazy. But with regards to listening, well, you kind of talked to JP, right? And he was saying we're trying to calm down the comps a little bit. Like, they were a little too frantic in some of the qualifying matches leading up. You thought yesterday was, like, a little too calm. A little too calm. What do you think today? Did yeah, I, I mean, I thought it was a lot better. Yeah, I, I just, just the You mentioned a hoop you didn't really hear, but like, I'm more mean, sorry. I'm more mean for, like, calling out names and numbers and stuff. Did you hear a bit more of that? Or? Well, they just got smoked on the listening. True. I mean, yeah. Besides, like, who getting three kills. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of just got held on that P2. There wasn't really much to go over, but there you go. That sort of 30 to 40 point lead, they never gave up. That first set of rotations, they had the spawns, and, you know, Couple of big breaks if you look at those P4s for Optic. And we talked about Florida's ability to hold on this map, second or third in the league. They had a couple of chances, just weren't able to hold on. And we'll check out some of the big plays throughout the course of it. I mean, it goes down to the wire. Florida Munir certainly had their chances, but it felt like that, what, 40 to 50 point advantage once Optic had that. They were doing a great job maintaining that throughout. And Oh yeah, my the, God. I think you said like put whatever this is you put gross. to point one. This is gross right here. Like you should be doing that. Have yeah. it just yeah. Yeah. right yeah. out of that window. The headshot comes in, and then from there, from that moment, they never really gave up this lead. But a very well controlled game. We're winning the hills. The subs were going off. This is what you want to see. Hey, is it the map two search we're going to that they're playing for the first time, or is that the yeah. map five? Map two. Okay. So this is what? For Optic, the first time we're going to see them? Was the hotel map too? There you go. Okay. I was waiting for you to oh, say I, it. Oh, you took the papers over there, so I don't have my maps next to me. Yeah, so we're going to hotel, which this Optic team has not played all year long. And I think the reason is what Florida has shown on Forge's Search and Destroy. What we saw yesterday, they're probably thinking, ah, eh, let's, let's not play that map. So we're going to a hotel yeah. search. It hasn't been the best map for the Florida Mutineers. They've really struggled with those first bloods on this map. but. You don't really have VOD to go over if you are the Florida Mutineers. So we'll see what Optic has. Obviously, you're scrimming it, you're playing it. But in an official matches, we haven't seen this from this team all year long. And then the control will be a little bit different, too. Thankfully, it won't be going to Fortress. So it'll be maybe less booze in the crowd when we get yeah, to the Yeah, they were excited. They were yeah, excited. Yeah, right. 
to get the hotel control. But for the Search and Destroy, we'll see what they're going to bring to the table with an excellent map one win. Now, how much can you carry this forward and take the momentum from this crowd? Because they were rowdy. You can see it is just packed in the venue. An awesome sight to see. As Optic put on an incredible event. It was a blast last year, just trying to upgrade it and improve it every way they can this year. It's been a joy. Yeah, I mean, uh, over here you have the Challenger side. Yeah, just so many activities. If you are a fan, but the big thing they're here for is to watch this team on this stage. And yeah, it's getting a little toasty. Are you all right? It is warm. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah usually when you get too hot, you can't think very straight. No, I'm trying my best. Yeah, yeah it, no. it is. Uh, yeah, no, that's happened to the pack venue, dude. It is, it is filling up. More and more. I couldn't believe it, dude, when I was walking outside just to get some fresh air and saw how far that line was going. There, there were a bunch of different videos that were kind of popping up on social media that you saw. It was, uh, it was really special to see, but this matchup with Dashi and Brack, you can see what they're putting up in the KD department. Both guys have been popping off. Who do you think's at the edge in the search and destroy? I mean, it's just sort of a, I mean, in terms of the matchup, right, Florida has kind of owned this search and destroy and control versus optic throughout, you know, the last five matchups. But between these two teams, it's tough to tell because you don't have a, a lot of reps. If you are optic, you have no reps on this map. But here we go, map number two low enough. But I think, you know, the desk kind of talked about it with Hydro. That was a big map to win if you are Optic, right? Because that Mercado Hardpoint you've looked great on. But it's a map number five where I think is really the worrisome. So I'm excited to see what Optic has on this map. In a map two, we go. Hook, terrific in that map one. We'll see what he brings to the table here. But it's fellow that's able to find the first blood. Shots he ripped out of this round. Now, what can Optic do from the three versus four? Defensively, just trying to pick their spots as slowly. Mutineers working this bomb towards B side of the map. Yeah, and this is sort of the, you know, one of those maps where we're so A heavy time and time again, but teams are now starting to work the middle of the map, work over towards B inside of this kitchen. It should just be tough to retake, but Optic, they're ready for it. They're ready for it. And I think if you're down in numbers, you'll take this because now it's all just about the snakes. The form on point, they're going to catch them inside of the freezer. The three versus four, now a three versus two for Optic. They shut it down, they bring it back. Now Mutineers in the back heel with 30 seconds to go. How do you look to play this? It's Brack that's trying to lock down mid-map. Maybe you can get a pick, get out with your life. You know, at some point they're gonna have to transition across. It'll now be Fellow working to get the bomb down. Debbie pop from Brack. Can you get a kill? Can you get away with your life? Flagging through the backside, it'll be Dashi, able to drop one. All gonna fall to Brack now, the dead sound just about to run out. It is now gone, as he will be stomping. Optic players listening for it, under 30 seconds to go. The push starts to come in, shot's not gonna hit. Hoop with his second in the round, and that's a big 3v4 there from Optic Texas. Yeah, you saw, I, I mean, Brack and Fellow right there, they have no info. So Fellow is like worried about the flank. That's why he jumps over to the stairs. He's watching that side of the map, but Dashi already top patio, able to win that first gunfight for Florida. I, I think after getting that first blood, you probably want to slow it down right there, but that's a nice job from Optic to get the info that they were able to find. They got players inside of that B site. They just ran right into them. That's exactly what you want when you're down a man in the round. Well, Dashi chatting through with the team. Feel good about the 3v4. Fellow, the only one with a kill in the round. That was the first blood. After that, it is just dominoes. They drop. Havoc's going to send it. And gets hit to 31 HP. Stunned as well. Let's see if his will hit. Won't happen, but he's able to stay up for now. Now trying to get to his spot. It's Havoc. It's able to get that first one. Should quickly be traded by Shotzi. It is. Now Shotzi against Capsule. He does challenge. He just tells. Capsule goes for the nade, and Shotzi just puts him six feet under. Yeah, while this is going on, you have Dashi on the other side of the map, really working over towards A. I expect Ghosty. And Shotzi maybe to rotate it over, but we'll see what they want to do. They're just waiting on this man, and he's able to spot him. Brackdo was able to find it, doesn't matter. The headshot is there, he reads it. And now Fellow, he's got to fly, he's got to fly. He does have the deadie. He has the deadie, but Shotzi in a bit of an off corner. I don't know if he is going to read this. Well, well, somehow, well. Jets, it doesn't matter, does not matter. I mean, there are a couple 
fights there where it's like, you know, Brack had a chance, uh, Capsidal gets, what, a couple bullets with the Shotzi, then goes to throw the nade and gets destroyed. Then this one with the repeat, Shotzi just fries him. I mean, a couple times, it's not coming down to anything with strategy, it's just people getting done. Yeah, just that opening gun fight, I mean, we've all been there, right? Where, you know, you're just trying to get that, maybe you don't have fast hands yet, right? It doesn't activate yeah, your caps, true, true. Like you throw that nade and it just takes forever. Yeah, well, it's, it's like you're an actual in. actual sloth when you're trying to throw the nades. It's horrific. Yeah, I mean, you know, with Capsule 0-2 and not doing a lot for you, probably doesn't have fast hands yet as well. Shotzi, oh yeah, the crowd is firing up, but he was hoping to get into that position now, though. The pressure's on him, the pressure's on him. <laughs> and that's what oh, we talk about. Oh. Sometimes you're trying to look pretty, and well, you get caught, because optics are just getting ran over. Oh yeah, the chef was cooking up a meal. Unfortunately, it ends up uh, a, little, a little too burnt. I don't know, he just gets caught while he's hopping around. It is fun to watch, but it did not work out for him as he gets dropped. It's now just ghosty. Bai is lonesome and he will fall. But yeah, I think that was kind of uh, to a T what we were talking about in the pregame. But I mean, Florida just sent oh. it. They played with such pace in that round, finding that first blood, and they just go. They just fly, catch him off guard. A much needed round for Florida to get themselves back into the game. Well, they switch it up, right? The first time around, it was a much slower offense. That time, they just go for it. They find a round, it's a big one. Now, let's see if they can chain together a second. Just avoid this stun. It's deja vu. Shotzi eyes on one. Still continuing to hunt people in front. He gets damaged into what feels like two, three players, but then it's hooped by himself. Can't get out. It, it went from looking like Shotzi had a freebie to the entire Optic team got wiped off the board. Yeah, I mean, very similar to last round. Just the, the opening kill is going the way of Florida Mutineers. This time it was a big two on a capsule near that A site. And, and I think Shotzi, he, he wants to find that kill on the Havoc. The grenade is hitting. There's a player weak, but the problem is everyone was A side. So he had no help through that main archway to find that kill. So instead of him hunting him down, well, he gets bad timing. Crowd getting riled up. I'm getting riled up because I asked the production team for a fan. They brought me one. I'm feeling much better, Joe. Oh, thank you. Some, some cool air brushing across my legs. That's such a diva. Yeah, I really am. Oh, ghosty, though. He's beaming. Rack now. Still full HP. Looking for the fight. Trying to get across. Takes a bullet or two, but it's happening. It's able to slice him up. Now it's the dashy. Sniper in hand. Can he clutch up for the one versus two? ton of time to work with. And this is not the bomb site for a sniper. Is Dashy gonna prove me wrong? He has done it before. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. It's Dashy. Yeah, you throw a couple Big old snakes Bruce. in there. Anything could really happen. Hit it, kid. Well, you have this two men set up for Bracken Havoc. He's just gonna need the door open to open that up. Just try to find the angle, but they're gonna give him nothing right now. What a moment this could be. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if he gets eyes on him. Just the snakes inside and just eviscerated. Yeah, that's just, uh, that's good form out of, out of Brack right there. Yeah, the door opens. He oh, hits dude. a couple. Dashy just never even oh, yeah. spots him. Havoc was up top in that Shotzi spot. But uh, again, you have sort of this great start from Dashy or Ghosty in the round with two kills. And you, you blink. The round is pretty much, you know, man advantage to Florida. Like, what yeah. the heck happened in those sort of mid-map skirmishes that Florida were able to win? Well, I mean, a lot of these rounds, I feel like it's been somebody getting first blood, and then it's just fried. I mean, you're able to pull off the They're playing quick. They're just going. Yeah. They yeah, are just yeah. going. It's not this usual A bomb site sort of battle that we are seeing. It's all about middle of the map. It's all about B right now. Oh, well, now it slows down. Shotzi is waiting for the opening. He's got you know, Daddy really anywhere across the optic side, so they're just looking to build that up. Havoc getting close as well as everybody waiting on their daddies. Door open! Surprise, surprise. Havoc waiting, lying in wait, able to get the kill. Dashley quickly one of his own, and now as everyone starts to earn Daddy, everyone's starting to fly. Havoc at the top is. Shots from Capsule will connect, puts him into a three versus two. Brack is tagged up and weak. Havoc will end up falling. Suddenly, it's just Brack by himself. 
A team will have numbers and then suddenly they don't. Now can Brack make the play? Uh, it's a one, hits the cross on the front, three shot comes in! The shots are there and it is a close, close gunfight. It, I think it's around four that probably wants back. We're going to see right here. Somehow, I, I, I don't know who the first player was, but they got a couple of shots in the bracket that allows Hoot to go uh, for that. Dashy, I think My guy's vibing on the main stage. Hoot, he is chilling. I, I think Dashy him like a bullet. There's yeah, and that's all that he needed. But I think Florida, you had Tapsville work the pinch. He was able to find the first one. And then they were trying to time the three versus two inside. But I think Havoc in Brack, somehow that timing went wrong. Capsule ends up getting picked, which leaves Brack by, his, by himself. First gunfight, thinks he might be lying prone. He is standing tall. Who puts Optic on the board first. Now from the 4v3. Dashy from couches. Just playing for any kind of info, no eyes on the cross, and back to the squad he goes. The bomb working its way towards A, and they'll have a four on three retake to try and get this going. But again, you have a ton of info here. Look at Havoc knows. He sees them all in the middle of the map. He's calling this out as they're going to reposition. They know Optic are working the flank, but are the numbers going to be too much? This could come down to Fellow in a bit of a sneaky corner. Hello, hello, wrong door to open. He's able to find the first. Where do the trades come in? It's going to be there from Shotzi. Yeah, I think he tries to like free fire. Maybe the second player pushing, but that will get dropped shortly after it. Now 2v2 again. Just high stress rounds. Madness in the mid game. As Dashi finds another Havoc's turn now. He's getting real close to Daddy, but just 20 seconds to go. Well, I think they know they have bomb down. Yeah, yeah Shotzi knows. He's looking right at that bomb. You don't always notice it in this game, but it doesn't really matter. The nade will connect. He's trying to find one. The timing almost goes Dashi's way. The shots are, though. Dashi's going to pick it up. Yeah, maybe if you wait another second for like, the nade to hit, and then you chow, right? But I think he was trying to back him up if he was there. That was the right play. The fight first, right? But you just buy time at the pillar. Just keep milking that clock. But yeah, just the early rounds right in the middle of the map, just kind of dictate, dictating the round, the way it's playing out, finding that first blood. Then Optic, they're able to work that flank, and at least Shotzi finds that trade. Just feels like we're always getting to like this, extended 2v2. Back in front, go Texas. Six for Dashi, six for Hook. Leading the way for Optic. Brax got this time. Dash, she might be receiving it. Ah, flick just a little bit off. And Not the, quite able to connect. One of the more standard hotel rounds we've really had throughout uh, throughout this map so far, right? A very slow offensive push over towards A. Brack trying to find a pick. He does have a cruise to work with. No. Am I seeing that right? He's got a cruise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. I'm just trying to remember when he... I, I remember seeing him on like a three or four early, but... So watch Shotzi. Shotzi's trying to find maybe an opening through that lower catwalk side. She's just hanging out. There we go. There it is. Now, potentially the rotation comes in, but who's going to find the kill? There is one player behind enemy lines. That's going to be Havoc, but it might just be a little too late as Brack tries to find the kill. And Havoc, you're all by yourself. Yeah, if he had some teammates up, uh, this might have been the play. But by the time he gets there, everyone is gone. They read the play on the flank, and he gets dropped. Fifth round. Now up for Optic. One more round and a 2 0 edge in this series. So far, Ghost, he's got the edge in the father-son matchup of the millennia. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Can they put it away here? Dashy's turn! And unlike Brack, Daddy Dashy hits! He's able to find him, but Bomb's still going down quickly. Brack, he's going to try to even this out with the missile. At least he's going to give them the info to his teammates. Does he find one inside the kitchen? No, not going to. Allows Havoc to get pushed up inside a luggage. On the other side, Brack just watching the flank. So pretty split is Florida, who is going to be the first to find a kill on this retake. It looks like Dashi, he's going to hit the pistol shot to try to buy time. The clock is ticking, 20 seconds. Now a two versus four. 
But do they know where Havoc is? That's really the player again. Where is Havoc? Can he stop the defuse? They have to check it. They have to check it soon. He's on and he sticks it. Optic up to him. He gets there a second earlier. Maybe that one gets a little bit wacky, but they stick it, they close it out. Optic looking good so far. And the boomstick there from Dashi sends the message in the final round early. Yeah, the maps they haven't played all year, I mean, they look pretty solid on it. It's, it was a much different look from both of these teams throughout this map, right? A lot of sort of B hits, middle of the map hits, some skirmishes, some very weird rounds. I think you can sort of see the, you know, the limited reps on both sides, but Optic's able to clutch on up. Just a stellar effort from the entire team who continues to have himself a big series. Again, for me, he is the X factor of this team. And then you saw it in that round number, well, round six that they were able to win. Dashy with that first blood. Yeah, you said, who can vibe it, dude? He's, he's up vibing, there, he's dude. up there chilling. You don't get a whole lot I don't of emotion know. out of that guy. Uh, yeah, that guy's just on a different planet. Yeah, he's he just really hanging out <laughs> when he's playing. God, he really is. He absolutely is. But you're up 2-0, and now, you know, you play, you play a search you haven't, you haven't played in the official match, and now you get to the control where Yes, I know the fans have been frustrated seeing Fortress. Optic have been losing the Fortresses, but I thought maybe after you saw Mutineers get smoked on it that we were probably going to see it again. But instead, we get the hotel. Thank God. Uh, thank God. Yeah, no, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, Optic, they, what, they just be phased on this map. You know, Shotzi's so good on it. You just want in the search and destroy. Hopefully, this is, you know, the start of something. And I think really what the Optic fans want to see is maybe that LSCLO control come into play, but not this series. Well, a big thing here, too, has just been, like, for, for the crowd. Like, they have been able to stay in this for the most part. Like, there hasn't been, like, those massive swings. For the most part, you're in lead all of game one. You're leading the way in the search and destroy. They have been rowdy. They've been having fun. They want more to see Optic close it out in the map three or mutineers come alive and make a run. Don't go anywhere. Right back after this quick break.
This guy can do it all. We got Seth of the Breakdown, Watch Parties, one of the greatest players of all time. Rocking a mustache, but still looking just hot. Yes. I love him. He's a talented, talented man. It's awesome to see him here. You just know his love for the brand, the organization. Wants to see, even though he left the squad, you know, it's not one of those things where you like leave and you're like secretly you're, like hoping they do worse because you're not in the picture. He like genuinely just wants them to have success. He's the, the backbone of like this organization and it is awesome to see him here and just uh, having a blast, man. Yeah, it's even better when they're up 2-0 as well. Yeah. Right? They're up 2-0 in control of a series. They're looking good. Uh, I mean, <sighs> map number one was a solid hard point for them. Map number two from start to finish. Yeah, they, I mean, Florida bounced back in some of those rounds. They want a little like win streak there, but Ozzy able to close that out. And that was, I think, oh. huge for them to win a search destroy versus Mutineers team. I went from thinking I was going to faint to dance, and now I got no, a fan. No, one Woo! on a different Oh, I dude, I was, you were. I, I was, was real just, nervous. I was, I was, about to I was just sweating, buddy, but I'm ready to go now. All right, nap three. It's a chance. Begin to roar. Can they close it out here as Optic go for the jugular within this control? As they'll be on to A, just getting what progress done that they can. Havoc finds one on the offside, but you got three players here from Optic. Fourth going to spawn close as well. Two players starting to rotate in. Hook able to stop the first. Shotzi able to stop the second. That is going to be a point done here in a moment. Yeah, Shotzi very solid on this map. Both of these teams, they have a lot of reps on this map. I think for Optic, it's like five and six. For Florida, four and six. So, you know, not the best, but I think one thing that really stands out is, is Florida's offense really struggling compared to the league average around like a 40% win ratio on the offenses, so we'll look at that. Maybe a chance for Optic to potentially go up 2-0 early in the map as they're able to work over towards this B zone with a lot of lives and a lot of time to work with. Thought the timing may be awkward for a second, but Shotzi up for it. He's up for another, putting him down at five and one to kick it off. Mutineers, they need something here if they're gonna All bring this timing. back. Where's the life gonna come from? Round and around we go. Capsule already got a kill, but I, ooh, I thought the nade maybe going to finish it. Now it's really just going to be Shotzi. Everyone has dropped around him. He's got to play his life. I mean, that's such an unfortunate scenario, right? Your last three players on the B zone, you're trying to bait Brack out. You know that's the player bedroom. You need him to chow. But, well, he just waits for Cap. Capsule finds a Tommy on the pinch from Shotzi. And, well, Shotzi lets him through. Capsule finds that first kill. Someone else probably turns then. That's when Brack is able to come out and defend that B-Zone. So, a little bit unlucky, but right back to it they go. Uh, we go okay. down, make that all four. Havoc, the first player up, already one take done at B. Optic, they're just gonna get on it. It's stack for star. They're on the zone. The second take is in. Florida has to go. Round one, done. Yeah, they don't even send anybody to push out a cut or hold the cross from mid. Like, they just stack it, and it goes so quick. If you've got that many bodies on the point, then why like, Shotzi gets one, Hoop gets one, they go soaring in. But now, a round closer to closing this out in 3-0 fashion and continuing on with this loser's bracket run. I, I mean, you have. You don't even have a lot of engagements on either side. Dashi with five. Fellow has two. Owen two. Like, they hardly fought them. <laughs> it's not sort of the mix that we normally see. Well, that was pretty much a couple of four down scenarios yeah, for Florida. Yeah. And the round was over. That cannot happen. The trades need to be better from the Mutineer side. All of their kills basically come in that first shutdown of B. That's like it. Well, let's see what Optic Optus in to this on the A side of the map. They get the two kills at mid-map. Now, you're gonna now they're likely uh -oh. going to collapse. Brack puts a nade in his own pocket. They're able to finesse away. Trophy just gets out before he drops. Now it's a dance battle. Just dance six. If they battle around, Fellow able to take it. Hit down to 35 HP, but still going to be up. A zone, second bit of progress is done. Now who's that looming on the other side? That'll be Capsule. He's just going to try to find the opening. Fellow able to find one, but Cat kind of sneaks on through. You do have two players already at crossing, Ghosty and Dashy. And well, for right now, I mean, they're going to have to wrap on back because the rest of their teammates had to deal with the players in the spawn. But who? he's going to come on up with Shotzi, find three kills, deal with this push. As I said, the subs right now really putting the team on their back for this Optic squad. Hook and Shotzi going off. They've been so, so good.
and you just need to be great for another five minutes or so when you're moving on to play later today. The stun hit, will his shots hit though? Gosi still able to win the fight despite the stun coming on through. Now to Hook, who's been super, continues it. Nice one-on-one -on -one win. Uh, nades just soared in. Hook didn't end up dropping to that nade, so nice one from Fella. But Ghosty is there on the trade to get him back for that power position behind the desk. What do you see, Joe? I mean, Dashi's really just been hanging out. He's waiting for the pressure. No one's really pushed him. Finally, Capsule's able to find him. But look at Shotzi on a big flank right now. Shotzi behind enemy lines is able to find one. Doesn't find the second, but will slow down the push for Florida, you would think. But because it's so staggered, this shouldn't be a staff. Capsule just going to try to play for death control. Allows Big Brucey to find two kills and get involved. Yeah, he's still one player on it, so you, you keep this clock stop for a good amount of time. You've gotten up to two life, make a three life advantage, and as who continues to find the angles. You've just got like, no bedroom side control. Hook is just ripping you to pieces. Yes, please come continue to take these fights. Chris Hook is putting you in the super uber mega blender as he gets three or four before he drops, and the life advantage continues to build for Optic. Florida's just playing the wrong game, dude. They're trying to throw dodgeballs at the guy. Just shoot your gun, take him yeah. down, just find the trade. If you try to stun him and nade him, it's just not going to work. He holds the pre-aim, able to find another one. Now it's just six lives, and this is what we talked about, the struggles for Florida. They are just too staggered in some of these pushes, and just like that, the time is against you. The lives are against you. It's looking like Optic going to go up 2-0. Here comes the last big push for the Florida Mutineers. You have a couple of players alive at death, but it's down to three. Ghosty, he's just hanging out. Two more left. One more left. It's just going to be Havoc. Flanking around through bedroom, just got spotted, the Butcher! Shotzi slicing and dicing. I was really hoping for assassination, I'm lie. But you know, he finds it and then he hits a little 360 off of this. This guy, get this guy. This guy's just doing some ridiculous things as he always he's having, does. Like, he's just having too much fun. He's having playing fun. Video games. 17 and eight uh, so far throughout this game. Hook with a big couple of kills in that round. Your ARs are hanging out. As I think the fans are happy to see them on hotel control. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's safe to say. Now, can they lock it down, close it out, move on? You get a quick series here. Focus up on your next match. Five in a row for Dash. Or sorry, four in a row for Dash. Five in a row for Shotzi. Make it number six. Cruz to work with now at positive 10. My guy is in his bag Redead right again. now. Redead again. And oh, it's all four, all four it dead up. right from the get-go. You're going to three-player stack this B zone. If you get this done early, it might be game over. They have not lost a life at the start of this round. Six in a row for Optic. B zone is done. For Florida, it is all down to A. They have to defend this for two minutes and 10 seconds. Optic has 30 lives remaining. Good luck. In the venue, they can feel it. The chant's just getting louder and louder. Can Mutineers do the unthinkable and bring this back with three straight rounds? It's going to start with this. They just need some kills, and it has been so hard to find. That's really it. They're going to start with this first set, right? Just find anything to try and make this a little bit of a better round for them. But now that you have the crews to deal with, and I think that's what Shotzi's thinking. Do I want to invest this now? And why not? We've seen players get better and better at deal with it inside A. There are a couple of trophies on that A point. You have one player off a of spawn. That's going to be Havoc, but there is the Cruz. I think the problem is going to be Havoc's probably going to find him here. So yeah, Havoc's going to take that kill, but what else can the missile find? He does find one. So it's a two on two on the map, but Capsule, he's going to find the third to give Florida the advantage. Yeah, he goes and kills shots. He's like, all right, fine. He just directs the missile right at him. But you're still up four lives just due to the excellent break off. Yeah, one minute down. So far, so good. Yeah, I mean, it's gotten better, really, if anything, you know, over time. Just with that one clearance, now might able to worse. get some space. But yeah, will those two kills be enough? They're instantly answered by Mutineers. That was Hoop trying to work in, win the fights.
Inside kitchen, he's trying to get hunted by Havoc. Havoc just lur lurking and able to take down that kill. 30 seconds to go now, Joe. Still a four life advantage, but not gonna matter. It's just gonna be this clock. Yeah, it's just been a so, so well done by Capsule and Havoc, really the sub stepping up. But here may be a chance for Optic. 20 seconds left, two versus two. Brack just trying to lock down the angle. The nades are coming in. You can see the two players from Florida are all the way across the map. Brack, the last player here, the red dots aren't on the mini map, and that means he's able to find a couple of kills. There's gonna be the third here, maybe the last chance. They have the time, they have the spawns to do it, but you do have Havoc on the pinch to shut this down. Havoc, what is he gonna find? Get picked up, nothing. get picked up. It's Ghosty, it's him to lock it down. The progress is there on A, the clock is docked at 9.1. 12 lives for Optic, seven for Mutineers. Second bit of progress now done. One bar left to fill, and the 3-0 is there. The break is bursting through. Will it be enough? The contest is in. They've cleared everybody off the point, but Dashi, and that should get it done. They're all spawning out, and Mutineers just enough to continue on. Wow, impressive stuff out of Florida. You have to give them their props, and I mean, honestly, Dude, you said the no red dots and correct me because yeah, he does not get two from that quarter. He almost gets three. He almost from gets it. three. Yeah, there's no way. I, I mean, yeah, that shout out. To, uh, yeah, that that, just, that that doesn't happen. Sick. That that round's over. No. Oh. So you don't notice like a ton of plays that are no, I, I well played with it. Yeah, I noticed that, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh lordy, <laughs> a little a little ping, and that probably goes differently. But you get the one round up if you're Mutineers. Can you do it here on offense? I think if you look at that round, really, the, the big difference you know, in that round is Capsule and Havoc really got going. But Florida trying to stay alive in this series. Let's go to a listen-in with the Mutineers. He's in Gucci, going satellite side. All right, Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, uh, one more, one you, one you, Kyler. He's Kyler's there. He's there. He pushed in. He pushed in our side right off. Okay. I'm okay. I, 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 I don't see anything. R1, 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 you, R1, you, he's R2. No, 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 no. I spawn for B here. One single, one single. Is there our side right off? I spawn for B side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the way. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. I'm up with you. I know one R1. Chatsy. No, watch out, watch out, Chatsy. Watch out, Chatsy. You want to be on me? You want to be on me? We go right, we go right. I have an air, I have an air. We need to pick him in. I'll try to pick him in. I'll spot him. No, no, no. Couch cut, couch cut, kill me. Then. Couch cut, couch cut right now. Do you want to do it? 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 Top cat, top cat. I don't have it. I have couches, I have couches. I don't think I can't. Oh, I got it. Behind us, behind us, metal steps. Ghosty, ghosty. He went bottom dead. He went bottom dead. Two dashies. And then dashies mid. Bottom dead. Nice. And D2. D2. All right, we need to wrap it. D2's on me. No, no, no. We can take this. We can focus. Once our couch cut. Once our couch cut. One just was low secret. Nice. One was mid. One was mid. Couch cut. Was he mid? I'm looking over here. D2. Okay. I don't see anything. Couch cut. Couch cut. Nice. Good job. I'm on the bed. He's going behind us. He's going behind us. Bed. I'm on the bed. He's going behind us. Couch cut. Got me. Couch cut. Got me. Stay up. D1, 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 D1. Every D1, stay down, please. One D2. I have all mid. I have all mid. One D1, three. We're missing. I have all mid. I have all mid. Go see first guy. Go see first guy. I have all of mid. He's spawned up. They have to go right. They have to go right. They have to go right. He's D2. I got hard sun. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Stay down. 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 Hey, 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 they're trying to find Hoot though. He's inside a freezer. The first oh, one is a bad. That is a nice catch from Capsule. He's gonna get taken down. 12 versus nine. Well, Dashi and Hoot gonna find three kills. Is there both on four in a row combined? So now Florida has to slow it down. They don't have the lives, but we know with this A zone, you get one set of kills, and it's usually round over, but can Optic hang on? 10 7 in lives. Bella, looking for the opening, able to snap out and win one, just trying to get set up, trophy out to the mid part of the zone. Slowly building towards that second tick, fights going around on outskirts, both teams just racing to get back in, 
The help is there from Capsule. He's able to snap three lives remaining for Mutineers. Five on the other side for Optic. But the pressure at Optic, they have to flood in. They continue to get dropped. It's Havoc that's able to get another kill. Things slow down for a second, and that's enough time for Mutineers to get the point. Down in lives, they clutch up into a final round we go. How the hell does Fellow just run out of freezer? Yeah, that's three? what I was gonna say. How does he get all the way there and get the trophy down? Like, get, get he's the just running to a point. He's, yeah. I don't know if Optic just saw multiple players on the flank were setting up well, for that. Well, he killed one. What? He killed one at first. So I'm like, right, right after his right, is he goes to cut in. But the other two players I thought would like peek him for the trade or slow him down, like he just gets out. He just gets out. And he out, plays, yeah. plays the bait like perfectly as everyone looks over him. Yeah, and you know when you have kitchen control in that scenario, you're gonna have those close spawns. The reinforcement's gonna be much quicker for Florida. Able to clutch on up now. That's two rounds in a row where you have a great advantage you are if you are optic but not able to close it out can they do it in this round number five it's going to come down to a defense Nobody dead yet. Just explosions all over the map as the utility thrust into it. Who could be the first to drop it and shots he threw on the flag? Surprise, fellas! Able to take down two and work to clear the point. Looks like he's just going to keep on rolling behind the Deddy. Yeah, but on the other side of the map, two of his teammates go down. So, you know, Ford is just thinking, let's go right over towards B. They have two players on the desk, right? On that God Heady. But Shotzi with doing the it attack. All. Doing it he's got the Vazev. He's got 33 kills. 33 and 19 from this man. So he continues to go off in the series. They deal with the B hit. Now right back over towards A as Dashy just playing his life. Oh, just watching his POV. It's just smooth. It's like water flowing in a river, Joseph. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of your movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly does. And just able to dip out of that gunfight streak. Continues the four before he drops. Ripping one off the head will be Big Bruce. But Mutineers getting closer and closer to this first point. His break dancing and then neck breaking. His brack as his head popped off like a plum. Fellow next one in, Ghosty in from behind. And they continue to delay this cap. And the big thing, too, the life advantage slowly building now, Joe. They're up five. Yeah, I mean, they've had that the last couple of rounds. It's been sort of these mid-round moments where Florida have just clutched on up. They do get two ticks done at that A zone. So haven't completed it yet, but very close. Now trying to get some work done over at A. The first tick not complete yet, but Brack, he's going to find two kills. Maybe that's going to give them that first tick. It will. The reinforcements are now in. And now it's staggered here from Optic. They uh -oh. have to try to slow this round down. They're on the point, all stacked up, close to being done. There is B. And again, the damage you got done on the other side, you just need one point of progress. So very similar to what we saw last time. Now you get three kills in transition. You're racing across, it's Cap picking up the cutoffs. This might be bad news right now for Optic. They are getting churned to butter. Map Mutineers as they take it. And that's one on the board. They're feeling good about that to continue on in this series. Mutineers still alive. Yeah, and you saw it. That's one, right? And maybe that's all Florida felt like they needed was one map to get on the board, put the pressure on. And honestly, dude, they only needed one round. Just clutching up in that round number three, it felt like the momentum just shifted. There were a few rounds. If you are Optic, you're going to go back and rewatch and say, what the hell happened throughout that? Because well, it felt like, I don't know if they could get frustrated or, or what, but they had such an advantage in the lives, whether it was the time, they just couldn't clutch on up. Oh, some similarities in the overall series versus just what you saw on that map. Like, you had to bring it three rounds straight, round by round. Your Mutineers, you're viewing it the same way in the overall series, just map by map. They got one. Can they get more? But what looked like we were real close to this, like a 3-0 kind of domination there from Optic, that is gone. Yeah, the venue now. was ready to party. They oh, were ready yeah. to get going, yeah, 100%. but that does not happen as the Mutineers stay alive. They go up 2-0, does Optic. In this round, they have a strong defense. They win that first offensive round. And I mean, I'm watching Shotzi just like climb around the map and knifing people, 360s out windows, like you're feeling good, and then it just feels like something falls apart. No, it, it felt like it, right? Like it just felt like Florida were kind of done. They weren't winning a lot of the gunfights. They were starting rounds down six or seven lives. They're like, all right, this is over. Well, and, I mean, just look at the scoreboard, right? You have Havoc very negative, you know, Capsule is negative, but those were the two, the subs really got going. And this moment right here might've been maybe one of the biggest throughout that map to hold on to that A zone. 
Well, it's what gives him a shot, right? Yeah, it gives him the shot to yeah, defend yeah, you it. have to. You have to win this round. If you're going to even continue on, but just filled with this, some insane moments. And yeah, I, I got an L. Like you have the life advantage several times if you are Texas. Is it just some undis undisciplined moments where you have to slow things down a bit? Like, we well, usually when you have a nice, like, six, seven life advantage, like, you can just play behind that. Well, it really just felt like one of those rounds where even right there towards the end of that map, all the pressure was over at B. I, I know they had two ticks at A, but it really just felt like instead of going for B one more time, they should have gave it up and set up at A, right? It's just sort of, we saw that yesterday where yeah. there was a couple of moments they probably should have rotated the next hill when they did it. It feels like someone in the comms needs to be a little bit more oh. assertive in these moments. Yeah, and those moments are like less straightforward than like, a, you know, we just lost a clean A, now we hold on B. Like when there's like a little bit of progress on both and you kind of have to make a decision, if you're a little bit slow on that decision or just the comms are off and one person runs off and three are going to hit here. If anything happens where you screw up at this level of play, you can get punished. Now you can see, I, I mean, Florida, they did it yesterday. Getting out slight, still winning maps. And we're going to one of those maps that they were able to win this Mercado, a hard point. They, you heard the desk talk about it. I think you're you're feeling good if you can get it done here. But map number five is the scary one. What did they say? Havoc has like a 2.14 or something. Something in that The Mercado that Demon Show. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, now it's just a little bit scary here because Mercado is a strong map for Florida. Yeah, and at the hard point, you know, we've seen both these teams play recently. But, uh, I mean, yesterday for Optic, that Mercado felt like just literally how I view this team. Um, Sometimes maybe shit. Sometimes maybe good. Like you, you, you don't, you don't really know what you're you're gonna get. Um, you know, it, it's not it's not great at times. But once they hit that gear, once they flip that switch, they were unbelievable. But that's the one where you have who. I don't think he's gonna start one in twelve very often. Hope like, not. Yes, you would think not. And throughout the course of this series, he has been pretty solid. So can he get out to a better start here? Do you not have to give the the, the fans a heart attack with the the kind of start you had yesterday? And they close it out. A real uh, Florida did us to that game five search and destroy. There you can see there is an obvious advantage in this map. A much better map for this Optic Texas team. But Mutineers able to pick up their first one yesterday. And now Mercado is about these rotations, these money hills. You chain two or three of these in a row, you're up 100, 120 points. Yep. We get loaded in quickly and off to the races we go. Mutineers desperately trying to get this to a fifth and final map. Optic Texas looking to close the door on this series and to move on and continue to fight all day. Brack just lurking in wait. Fellows the one's actually able to get the kill, but Brack will get his goodies then shortly after. Just no one really able to retain control of mid-map yet. We'll see if now Mutineers can get some time. And one thing that Optic's very good at at this map is sort of finding a lot of time early on these P1s, right? And you see a lot of teams maybe give it up or have nobody in it. They're so focused on P2. Optic's like, we'll get this time and then try to flip those spawns or at least control P2. We trust our ARs to lock it down. Oh, that's just a good fight. Looks so absurd. They're up close, but it's win after win currently from Optic. You see the lock in the bottom of the minimap. Next hard point about to be popping as everyone gets ready here for P2. Optic will be in first. They're set up. Shotzi kind of maintaining that left side of the minimap. Watching tunnel is Hook. Two set up inside. The comms start to come in. Hook able to take his fight from mid tunnel. And he's already at the three and four, so a better start than we saw yesterday. Yeah, but here comes that first push. It's already two dead for Optic, Florida. Now they're just going to try to fly and find these kills inside of the hill. Goes oh, 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 oh. Just a bit of an off angle there. The pre-fire is going to connect. And well, the rookie, he's going to give them control of this hill. Now with 30 seconds left, you're thinking about scrap time, but it's really that rotation. Shotzi, he's going to spawn inside a tin. So Shotzi's going to have a big one-on-one -on, -one on the opposite side of the map. Is having. He's going to find the rest of that time, but this is going to allow Optic to have control of rotation. And now it's just one player up top, one player down low. They're Capsule. both looking walls. Capsule, maybe he gets hurt, maybe he gets hurt. There we go, he's able to find it. Now behind this table, we know how tough it is to deal with a player behind this position. Especially when it's somebody like shots him. He's like, screw the table, I'm chowing out. Almost in trouble, but Dashi and Hook able to look over him. And due to the one-on-one -on -one win, the spawn coming in for your teammates, you're able to pick up some time. But that all starts with the big play from Ghosty at the last hard point. Some big moments there, then just Shotzi.
Yeah, it keeps them that lead, right? If Dosio is down, maybe then it's more of an even game. But because of that, Florida then invests another push over at P2. Who just lying in wait, able to find two to deal with this first push. And maybe you go at this one more time if you're Florida, but they're just gonna give this up. You now have, what, 10 in a row for the side of Optic. Everyone popping off, but now can they get a break? I know it's not as simple as it, but like it just feels like they're winning gunfights in some of these. Like, they just flat out outclassing them from a talent perspective. Like that, like like, like that. Well, they're doing that map number three. Da but then Florida came open. alive. Then Florida came alive. This could be their chance, right? Your early rotate, you're down, you know, around 70 or so, but a full 60 here, and that lead is gone. Yeah, when you're peeling people off headies like that, though, you're probably feeling pretty good. Yeah, one player in Huto does spawn behind enemy lines. They are going to read it. Shotzi spawns right behind him. And, well, there we go. They find all of those skills. So this is what we talked about with Mercado. If you early rotate, you got to cash in. Well, I'm going to spawn out all the way behind. We'll see if they can delay this push enough that Fellow is able to actually get back in the mix. You've got numbers here if you're off. There's still time to go. You have 30 or so seconds left. They're going to get right into the point. They went through with a fight. Oh! And that's another one. Another one where someone's just getting fried. The Optic Boys are piecing. Yeah, they are. And they're going to find those 30 seconds. What was looking so good for Florida. I mean, you just blink and now it is gone. They're going to fight for the scrap time. Yeah, do have Capsule already on rotation alongside of Fellow. So they're going to deal with those players. But that lead, it really, it has not gone away. So more pressure on the Mutineers. Fellow just able to take it, but right there through for the trade. Quickly is Optic lead growing yet again. Up to a 70 point advantage. Ghosty with a teardrop. Havoc's legs just blown to smithereens, but it's Brack. That's finding the kills outside. Looking for number three, beautifully done there from Brack. Fourth on the Chow, trying to look left, trying to look right. Too many players for him to deal with, but does Brack do enough to find an opening for the squad? I'm not sure he has. The kills seem to be going the way of Optic Texas still. Yeah, I mean, while that goes on, his teammates spun out the middle of the map, and then Dashi and Josie are just locking them out through tunnels, so they cannot help out Brack. There's 20 seconds left on the hill. And it looks like they're going to fight for it, but Optic's going to win it. So they're going to have a 100-point lead as we head on over towards P5. Back over to the Cantina. We'll see if they can win this. Sorry, P6, sorry. Yeah, there we go, P6. Up 100. Crowd roaring. But Mutineers holding. Shotzi able to get one kill. On the opposite side, it'll be Ghosty looking for his one-on-one. -on -one. Ghosty able to win that as he wins that fight. Now the pinch is going to open up. One head has to turn to deal with it. You're able to collapse in from the so other well side. Done. The stun is going to hit, and that's a thing of beauty there from Texas. So well done. They find that first kill. Ghosty knows that player is going to spawn out. Hook now beaming. Ghosty was able to win that fight, and then they collapse. They collapse on the hill. It's a huge break, and this is what I mean. Look at that scoreboard. Now going to be a run. If they find the rest of this time, 190 to 60. Optic, very close to closing this series out. Moment by moment, you can feel it. So far, so good. I mean, it was a tale of two halves the last time they played this Mercado, but can they keep the discipline there? The pinches have been beautiful. But if some of the gunfights stop going their way, like all these headshots you see go the way of Dachi, the things maybe begin to crumble, or has the lead just got too significant now that you're going to run away with it? 130-point advantage as the new hard point pops. It'll be Mutineers into it. All four players grouped up and ready to rip and roar and out from Optic Texas. First one drop, and on four we go. That goes to, he just shoots him through the wall. There's those first two picks, and now they're going to fly. This all comes down to Capsidal and Fellow. Fellow all the way back wide, trying to stay alive, but Ghosty, his son takes care of business. They're able to find another break. This is what you want to see if you're an Optic fan. The breaks have been so much better today, finding the opening kills and well, turning it into a lot of time on their side. I swear, it's about Shotzi who thinks he can wall run, bro. Like, <laughs> he's like trying to, it's so, so fun to watch. But up to 207 now is Optic Shotzi. Once again, hello sir, tries to send it over, but Brack this time ready to do it. Dashy pinching from the other end. Ghosty and Hoop lock it down. 17-11 from Hoop, so much better than the struggles we saw yesterday. Tack on number 18. Next hard point up, Hook is doing it all. Daddy Pop finally drops, but the damage 
done and allowed for a moment of setup here for Optic. Yeah, I mean, now you just kind of milk this, right? You put the pressure on Florida to overstep. Just Florida are thinking, all right, we have to control P2 to get right back into the game, but if you're Optic, maybe you're just thinking, find as much time as you can. You know you don't really have spawns. We're so close to putting this one away, but Florida do find, what, five kills in a row to give them map control as Optic start to push on through. It's been these moments where they have control throughout this map. The fight start to go down. It's a battle for green control. Hook's right back on a four. Like, like he died on a four or five. Back to it so quickly at positive 10. And with Daddy out, wants to just hit this back up, gets the eyes on one. Nate around the corner has to play impatient. Like, All right, Brack, you want to continue to back up? I'll continue to find position, but Capsule will shut it down for a moment, but it's Optic in the point. With 50 seconds left to go, they just need 15 of these points, and Joe, they are here to close it out. Yeah, having Capsule able to get inside, but you still have a couple of players remaining on the side of Optic. It's a nice read from Brack. Capsule able to find it. Will that be enough? Is the, the stuns, the nades, everything coming in for the, the Mutineer side? Yeah, Havoc certainly getting his use out of the utility there. Everything hitting. Promise yeah. nobody's on the hill if you're Florida, right? Two players are up top. You've had no one on it. There Probably we go. Crack will be there, but there's 20 seconds left. Look at the mini map. What, you have Dashy inside of the hill. Shotzi, he's broadside locking that down. As the rest of Optic, they're gonna go for it. I don't know, he does uh, have, not have the tick yet. But Optic, they won the rotation might. while that was going on. I mean, you got one yesterday that I thought was wild. Nah, this time, this I don't one. think you're gonna get it. But yeah, right to 249, and they're in the final point. Optic, shut it down comfortably. And we'll continue to battle here on Saturday. Greenwall is not done yet. I do have another matchup later today. Yeah. Against what I believe the loser of FaZe in Seattle Surge. So it should be a, an absolute banger later on. But I think if you're an Optic fan, that was especially the respawns much better. At least the yeah, points. I had the control. I mean, I don't walk away from that. Feeling like as a fan, you're as stressed as you were yesterday. I mean, that London series was something. Like, that took it out of you. That was an absolute battle. This, not so much. Like, yeah, you can clean some, uh, some stuff up in the control. But obviously, you went away from Fortress that you've been playing. But otherwise, like, it, it felt more just way more comfortable. Like, not, not those massive swings that you would see all the time. Yeah, and as you said, I mean, they were just winning a, a lot more gunfights. I'd say Florida a yeah. lot here as well. Hook with 26. But is this, one, with 20. is this one of those situations where like, you got away with the Eagle Shells? Because, you know, the talent's there a little I don't, bit I don't more. think so. It just felt like they were winning a lot more on rotation. They were winning rotations. They were making the right team decisions, especially on that map. And yeah, they continue to win a pair of hard points. They'll be in a good position to maybe make a run. The question is, can they make it to Sunday? But I think, you know, you were you were pretty frustrated, I think, yesterday after, after casting that series. Um, just because you accept player, uh, players of this caliber on the optic side, not to make some of the blunders that they, they were yesterday. Oh, you were like visibly frustrated at times just with some of the gameplay you saw. But today, you got to feel a bit better. Yeah, no, I like watching good Call of Duty. You know? that's, that's just what it is. And yeah, both teams making a lot of mistakes, but yeah, optic a lot better here today. Yeah, well, Hoop, who turned it around massively. He was fantastic in this series, especially there in the Mercado. He's smiling on the main stage. Let's toss it to Bryson Hoop. All right, thank you very much, Maven. Yes, joining me here on the main stage is going to be Huke. Uh, so many questions are going to break down from that one, but first of all, congratulations. Uh, let's dive right into it. Let's start with a negative. What happened in the control? You guys were looking really, really confident. The adjustment wasn't there in the end, though. Uh, I still felt like, despite that we came back, we played pretty well. Um, just didn't close out. That's how it be sometimes, but um, <laughs> next time, you know, all we could do is... Uh, Try to close it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. That's entirely fair going forward. Uh, another point that kind of stuck out for me, I got to talk about the s &D. There was a, a 1v2 occurring, went down to a 1v1. You didn't even hesitate yeah, yeah, to yeah, just yeah, scream yeah. back out. Yeah, I mean, that was just all, like, reaction. My teammate gave me a good calm where he was, so just quickly reacted. That's all I could do. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked like a quick reaction. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the, the team then in general, because realistically, today seemed more confident, more smooth. You looked like a team that realistically could go much further in this tournament than you did yesterday. What happened overnight? I don't know. Uh, 
I feel like we're, we're here to play the game. I mean, you guys have brought like crazy energy, you know? So, uh, you know, we could just focus on ourselves, you know? I'm gonna ask uh, probably the last question then about this crowd, about the home support that has been pouring out for you here. How is it to play in front of something like this? Oh, it's great. I mean, all we have to do is uh, shoot our guns and you guys bring the energy, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. I'll let you get back to backstage and relax with your team. We're gonna throw this one over to the desk to break it all down. Hey, thank you, Bryce. Optic Texas, they get the job done. They move forward. They're now top six. What a performance that was. I know we got a lot to say about Florida Mutineers, but first and foremost, Nameless, best performance from Optic Te Texas we had seen. Obviously, only one series to take from London Royal Ravens. Now this one, but they looked on fire. They absolutely looked on fire, right? I, I did not expect Optic to come out and look like that. It just feels like sometimes when the SMGs are shooting diff, they're going to run over teams. You know, I got caught up in the storyline of Florida versus Optic. That's and then right. right. When that map one started, you see Shotzi in the water. He's popping off, popping three pieces. He's chowing across the map with a Vaznev. It's like, okay, Optic's feeling good today. It might be scary for the competition. And can I just say, I was so impressed with Optic Texas and their response today. Obviously, that map number three, I mean, they did choke a little bit of that 2-0 lead, but like those maps ones and fours, it looked like a much calmer, a much more fundamentally sound Optic Texas, and that is what we have been missing from them throughout stage three. It's what we were missing yesterday. I feel like they won a lot based on the talent, on the pressure, but today I saw them making that early rotation. On that Hydro, they broke back to back to back P2s. You know what? The priority wasn't there to rotate, but they were able to push in through the front multiple times, and I was very impressed with their gameplay. So this is an Optic Texas that looks like to me that could really make a run. Well, Optic Texas, they get the job done, and they earn our scuff play of the game. They beat their boogeyman. They beat and overcame their kryptonite. What a performance from them from start to finish. They were absolutely lights out. Shotzi was so consistent throughout the entire series. Hoop was literally challenging everything that I, man is scary i mean these guys are dancing around the map a little comfortable as well like not even really breaking a sweat towards the end the mercado was effectively a cakewalk the chows were on like point cake. it just seemed like they didn't get pressured all too much like maybe a round or two of s &D where they dropped the ball a little bit but i think for me that series is more mutineers making a bunch of mistakes especially so in the respawns and i think again if they're allowed to play comfortable they are going to look dominant Absolutely, and that green wall, it makes a bit of an impact. You would know actually from your history playing as a competitor, Nameless, right? Okay. That green wall brings that energy clearly. It has something to do with this series, and Florida Mutineers may have not brought their A game. Boy, Optic Texas did. You went with Florida Mutineers as your prediction. That's okay, that's a good bet. But when it comes to Optic Texas, are you feeling a bit more comfortable with them moving forward now in the tournament? I mean, I hate to be that guy. I just don't think they were challenged much throughout this series. I mean, we, I look at that last hard point, there's just so many mistakes were made on the side of the Florida Mutineers. You know, you talk about the crowd, and yes, I have played against the Greenwall crowd before. Sometimes, some players, they crumble in those moments, and sure. I feel like Florida did, man. From Even the when we went to the listening in yeah. that control, like they did make that comeback, uh, but the listening just sounded like they were a little bit hectic in the beginning beginning and they were able to cool it down but anytime things are going wrong for Florida it just compounded and they That's right to make so many mistakes like easy setups on that Mercado just blowing it away yeah I, I those yeah, I things agree. can't happen right but yeah. you know that's not to take anything away from Optic. I'm just saying, I don't think they were challenged too much. So I need to see them play a top team. They played London, and now they've played right. Florida. Not to be that guy, but it hasn't been the top competition. So well, we will see you in the next match. They're going to be challenged, I'm they're sure. Let's take, let's take a look at our bracket, because they will have a challenge a little bit later, whoever their opponent is going to be. And naturally, we are going to see if it's going to be Seattle Surge or Atlanta Phase, right? So the loser of that one will move down to play Optic Texas. Plus, we also have Beantown coming in, Boston Breach versus Toronto Ultra. That's going to be a great matchup. Can't wait to see how that one's going to unfold and who will play against Vegas. Legion, big play, looking to hold it down. He's demon mode. All right, we saw him leaving the arena as we were leaving the arena. He's pumped up. He's feeling good. And uh, Clay's at his best when everybody, it seems, is going against him and they don't expect him to move forward. So 90th tournament, he's making a good appearance. Hey, check it out. We got a lot of good things over here at the CDL. And Upper Deck is bringing in the action. Start your digital collection today with the 2021 Call of Duty League trading cards by Upper Deck, the official trading card partner of the CDL. Collect your favorite teams and players on UpperDeckEPAC.com or scan the QR code on the screen. And also, 
So if you want to go ahead and check out the in-game uh, store, the Shinobi bundle is available. It comes with the Shinobi Tracer pack. You get two Tracer blueprints, tuned for speed and stealth, and also that shadowy operator skin. I've got to pick that up ASAP as soon as I get home because that thing is just, it's just deadly. Hey, that's one series down Optic Texas. They take it home. Now we need to figure out Seattle Surge versus Atlanta Face. Who is going to remain victorious? We'll find out after the break.